Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com where we provide cloud computing services that allow your employees to work from anywhere and still be under one virtual roof. We do this by hosting over 300 software applications and their associated data. All of those applications and data can be accessed and used from any of the devices you see on this screen. If you'd like more information about us, you can go to our website. You could also do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281. Okay, I saw a post today on LinkedIn asking about creating a separate database in ACT and then exchanging records in between those databases. And the reason the person wanted to create a separate database was to separate their high priority customers from their non high priority customers. And we typically don't recommend you do that because it creates a lot of extra work switching back and forth between databases. And when you're looking for someone, they may not be in the database you're in. So you got to go to the other database and you may forget which database you're in or which database that contact's in. Um, it also eliminates pretty much the ability to use the calendar and a number of other features. So what we do is we recommend you use the ID status field for that. And so what I'm going to do in this video is show you that real quick um, and show you some ways in which you might be able to better manage your database um, through the ID status field and through also using that in combination with groups and potentially even using add-on products like Topline Dash to help with that. So I'm going to get into that right now. Right now I'm on my local desktop. Virtual Roof is the company um, that I represent. And we're in the business of hosting ACT uh, via the web. And it's actually the desktop versions of ACT. I'm on my local desktop right now. Um, and I'm physically sitting in Orlando, Florida. But I'm about to switch over to our virtual desktop, which is what we host for our customers. And that virtual desktop is coming from Bellingham, Washington, and can be accessed from anywhere in the world. All you've got to do is have an internet connection. So this is my virtual desktop. Um, this is actually ACT right now. I'm going to switch over to the desktop so you can kind of see. This is the virtual desktop. And you can see I've got Microsoft Office and QuickBooks and ACT on here. And so, and this works just like a local desktop and can be accessed from an iPad or an Android or a Mac or a Windows machine, wherever. Um, and so now I'm here, I happen to be sitting on the marketing results tab, which is a Swift page feature, which does work in this environment because again, this is the desktop version of ACT. And as you can see up at the top, we have this field called ID status. And we, we think a lot of the ID status field, we think it's a high priority field. And so we actually move it up to the top on our database and we recommend our customers move it up there as well. And we can help with that if they need that. Um, but it's really where you designate this person and who they are in relationship to your business. You can see we have multiple types of clients in here. Um, we've also got um, prospects in here and so on and so forth. So it's just a way that you can segment your database and focus on particular customers. Um, some businesses categorize their customers into really hot prospects like maybe a prospect A or a prospect B or a prospect C or even client A, client B, and client C. Um, so they kind of give a grade to their clients and they want to make sure that they focus most of their attention on their client A's. And, and I'm saying it in that order as opposed to a client on purpose because that way it's very easy for you to look up all your clients. If you do a look up and you type in the word client, then that's all you've got to type in and you will get all of your clients um, regardless of what type of client they are. So you use the word client in the beginning and then that brings up all your clients um, and so that's how that piece works. So at any rate, um, and so that's what we recommend you use and you keep everything in one database. The only time we recommend a second database is when you're going to import a list of a mailing, maybe a mailing list that you purchased, and we call those suspects, and those don't belong to, in our mind, those don't belong in your main database. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually switch over to one of our demo databases so that we're not, so I'm not showing any real customer data. So I'm going to minimize this virtual desktop, and I'm going to go to one of our demo accounts. 
and here you can see a similar layout the id status field is over here on the left hand side that's kind of where it is in the default act layout so if you're using a default act layout look to the bottom left it should be the second field from the bottom and again that's the id status field and not sure what all's in this demo database looks like there's a number of things so if we did a right click on this look up id status and um, let's just type customer and see what we get Okay, so we've got 46 customers here. Now, we could have further prioritized these guys into customer A, B, or C, and, and we could have further um, typed in that when we were doing the search in order to just get those customers. Um, <clears throat> don't know. Let's add the ID status field to this view real quick. Customize columns, and let's scroll down here, and ID status. And I'm going to move this field up a couple of spots so it's right to the left of company. Okay, so you can see we've got different types of customers in here. And, and, um, and the ID status field, this is a multi-select ID status field, so you can have multiple types of things in here. One of the other nice features in ACT, if you really want to kind of make this easy as well, is you can go to your groups. And you can create a group that has a dynamic um, membership rule to it. So if I wanted to create a group, and they've already got one in here called customers. And so if I look at this and I click on add remove contacts, I can see that it's based on a field value. A dynamic group means that people get added or removed from the group based on values in the field or values in multiple fields. So you can see that this is just another way for you to be able to, to define or look at your customers. And you can see they've got customers Asia pack here. So there's just those customers. Uh, customers chocolate, there's just those customers. So if you're really trying to manage your database and look at your high priority customers, then, then that's a way to go. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you is Topline Dash, which is actually an add-on software product to ACT and we host it on our servers. And it is an awesome tool for being able to do this, uh, for being able to segment your database in all kinds of ways. Um, and it creates bar, uh, bar charts, like the one we have here, pie charts. It creates list views, things like that. If you look at the What's New um, button here or dashboard, you can see that this is a six-panel dashboard showing new contacts, new opportunities, newly edited contacts, new history, new notes, and synchronization list. And for example, if you're trying to track, let's say, all of your hot customers or high priority customers, you could differentiate like this newly edited contacts. You could set a query in here that says not only does the, is the edit date within the last seven days, but the ID status field equals customer high priority or, or however you've got it listed. So there's ways of doing that. Another cool thing, if we look at this contacts button here, here's a breakdown of, your data, of this database by the ID status field. Okay. And you can see we have 46 in here listed as customers, okay? And we've got five listed in here as influencers. If I click on that bar, there's those five folks. And then if I hold my shift key down and go right-click on that, go to contact, now I'm back in the at contact list view with those five folks. So you can just see if you're using the ID status field properly, um, you can really do a lot of stuff with your database. We also did have done dashboards um, and group uh, dynamic groups, by the way, of things called neglected customers or neglected high priority customers in this case. So you can actually go in and say, okay, I want every customer who has a high priority in the database who has not been contacted in a certain amount of time and that contact could be email phone call or a meeting and you can actually set up a query for that and so you can actually manage so things that don't fall through the cracks so that you can actually get a list of contacts that are high priority 
who haven't been reached out to or touched in the last seven days or the last 14 days or whatever your time frame is. And we show customers how to do all of that when, when they're hosted with us. Well, that's it. Um, I hopefully um, this video um, showed you some things that, um, some new things that you can do and, and helps you out to be more efficient in your business. Thanks again for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. If you'd like more information about us, you can go to our website. You could also do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281.